Now you only owe $11,000. Balance in two weeks, please. I told you, Mr. Dizar, it's utterly impossible. Perhaps you'll be fortunate enough to have more clumsy women enter your shop. Well, I should hope not. Then you will leave me no choice but to take your treasures and sell them myself. Take them from me? Oh, you can't be serious. I am most serious, Mr. Appleby. If you cannot raise the money... No, 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 no. No, I'll raise it. I'll raise it somehow. Perhaps I can get a loan from the bank or something. I don't know. I don't know, but... You'll get your money. Hey. Do you have to have that thing blasting all the time? I like it. Goodness knows I don't have any other company around here. You won't even let me have a cat. You know very well a cat would scratch up the furniture. Who cares? You don't, obviously. You never hang anything up. You don't even clean up the place. You know I can't stand disorder. Can't stand it, can't stand it. You're as fussy as an old maid. Can't stand a speck of dust in that fancy shop of yours either. And what good does it do? Nobody ever buys anything. I... I don't want to quarrel with you, Lena. You're right about the shop. Lena, I've got some serious business trouble. I'm going to have to raise some money, $11,000. $11,000? Just where do you think you're going to raise that kind of money? From you, I hope. From your endowment policy. You've got a nerve. I'm sorry, Lena. I must insist. Insist all you want. It's not going to do you any good, because you've got to have my signature, and I'm not signing anything. Lena! I know what you'd do if you got hold of that money. Just go out and buy some more treasures. No, no, I won't. Well, you're not getting it, so forget it. Bring me a glass of water, please. Who was your servant last year? Please, Lena. I'm getting it. accident. 